going to read chapter 11 and pulling together. Round one. The announcer's voice boomed through the megaphone. The pull for the heavyweight division will begin. These are the teams. Matthew heard Sam Johnson's name called. Then there was applause. Another name was called. There was a quiet moment, and Matthew knew that the man was leading his team into the pool area. Then there was more applause, and then another name and more applause. The announcer said, John Briggs. Matthew's father clicked his tongue lightly, and he and Ben and Dolly went out into the ring. Weighing in at just 100 pounds over the mark are Ben and Dolly. The crowd murmured among themselves. Matthew knew that they were feeling a little sorry too. The team looked small beside the others. The applause was quiet. And Grant Bailey, said the announcer. The crowd gasped at the huge gray team, sped into the ring. Bailey half ran and half skidded as he followed behind the horses, holding them in. Their wide black harness was studded with silver spangles. They sparkled and jingled. The horses tossed their heads and snorted as they pranced around the ring. Matthew looked over at his father and their team. Their harness was plain, but well shined. And his father looked tall and calm. Matthew took a sudden comfort in the tilt of his father's hat. The contest began. All five teams easily pulled the first pile of logs across the line. No team had even used the whole two minutes. Men with two teams brought two more logs and chained them to the other logs. Now, said the announcer, round two. Sam Johnson's team barely made the line in time. The next team did not make it. The third team pulled through just as the bell. John Briggs' team came to the starting line. John Briggs brought his horses to the front of the load and stopped them. He leaned over and picked up the double tree. He said, back now. Ben and Dolly backed up together. The hook slipped easily into the ring. On the logs, the time clock began. John Briggs smoothed the lines and then clicked his tongue. The team leaned into the harness. At first, nothing appeared to happen. After what seemed too long, the logs began to move. Ben and Dolly pulled them half the way to the line before John Briggs said, Whoa! The horses stopped dead still. John Briggs went around to the horses' heads. He stroked their noses and he ran his hand down their front legs. Finally, he went back, picked up the lines, and clicked to his horses. The team leaned into the harness again, and again the logs slowly and slowly began to move. The front ends of the logs 
past the finish line 10 seconds before the time ran out. The crowd cheered wildly. Matthew and Luke hugged each other and slapped each other on the back. Grant Bailey's team came charging up. They stamped and pawed the dirt while the, whole, while the work teams pulled the logs back to the starting line. Then the announcer called, Ready! The man drove his team to the front of the logs. Back up, he yelled at the horses, but they charged forward. The man leapt forward and hauled back on the lines. Back up, he roared louder than before. The gray team, their heads bobbing and their nostrils wide, backed up jerkily. Then the ring went over the hook and they plunged forward against the chest harness. The heavy logs did not move. The crowd murmured a little, as if they had felt the sudden tightening of the harness on their own chests. Ha! Get up! The man yelled. He slapped the lines along the horse's backs. One horse went forward, but the other hung back. Get up! The man Thundered. Matthew winced at the tone. The other horses went forward and the logs lurched ahead. And so the whole pool went, the man yelling and slapping down the lines. The horses jumped and struck and jumping and struggling. They made the time limit. There was applause, but it was not loud. Matthew could see the sweat and lather on the gray horses as they went by him. They were blowing through their noses in fast snorts. Matthew looked over at his father. John Briggs was following the gray team with his eyes, and he was not smiling. The men and teams came and added a huge log to the pile. Sam Johnson walked up and studied the load. Then he went to the judge and withdrew his team. Matthew and Luke, Luke looked at each other. Will it be too heavy for Ben and Dolly? Matthew asked. Papa will know, said Luke.